But of course, with any young adult book that involves animals, they get a great bond. They were all good friends. I'm already sad. Oh no, DP, and why did I put this on the list? <laughs> <laughs> So my runner-up is Where the Red Fern Grows. Uh, spoilers. Okay, restart. Restart the stream. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I had to put this one on here because, one, if you've ever like listened to any content that I've created or watched any of it, it is no secret that I love animals. Um, I mean, there was a point in time where I was volunteering at a rescue animal farm. So I basically, like, for my own enjoyment, I cleaned up barns so i could pet goats and pigs for free <laughs> and like i would just hang out in the pastures all day but yeah so i very much enjoy animals and like this book is very like subject forward towards the animals in particular dogs and uh i also have to admit that i am a good i'm a sucker for anything that's a good tearjerker because like sometimes i'll go and find a movie or an anime that i know will physically cause me to cry and just have a very th therapeutic cry because it's so sad. And then I feel so much better afterwards. And that is what this book is to me. The first time I read it, I wasn't ready. And oh boy, my family was like, what happened? What's wrong? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm gonna quick, quick uh, inject here because the ending of this is very like, I would say, let's not spoil this one. Don't spoil the ending okay. for this one. Okay, I won't spoil the ending. Let's not spoil the endings for any of them. <laughs> there we go. Judgment made. So I can talk about... So I'll talk about the overarchingness of it without giving away the part that rips your heart out. You can talk about the tree. <laughs> That's a very important... I guess it's in the title? <laughs> well, the beginning of the tree. Now I'm making... Now I'm wondering if I'm remembering the right book. You Hold are on. remembering the right book. So, yeah. okay. So this book is... Go ahead, talk whatever you want. It's your book. I forget... It's not on my list. <laughs> <laughs> I forget the introduction exactly. Like, you're saying the beginning of the tree. I forget the introduction exactly, but I do remember the main point is it's a young boy, and he has two dogs. I think at one... There's show dogs at some point, and if anyone's not familiar with what that is, mm -hmm. it's a lot of the whole, like... Um, I know Animal Planet does a whole big thing on it where you have, like, basically blue ribbons for dog breeds in specific. And so this boy got these two dogs. I remember vaguely that he brings them to competitions and shows to like show them and show that they're like well-bred dogs. But of course, with any young adult book that involves animals, they get a great bond. They were all good friends. I'm already sad. Oh no, DP, and why did I put this on the list? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Look, you have to get all that water out of you somehow. I drank so much water right before this. <laughs> but yes, so I will try my best to talk about it without it being too spoilery. But, like, their bond is really strong together, and they live in a place that's, like, a little... I don't... Do they tell you the state? Um, I'm, I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, because yeah. it has some wilderness involved with it. But, like, I don't want to talk about that part. Oh, my goodness, D-Pain, how do I talk about how much I love this book without talking about the parts? <laughs> <laughs> the important part at the end? Where it shows the true love between man and dog. The true bonds that you can create with pet dogs. Oh my goodness. I, I thought of something that kind of, like a real life story that kind of lines up with this that I literally found out about yesterday. But I have a feeling if I say this, you will definitely like bust out in tears. So I'm going to oh, hold back. Oh no. But <laughs> I mean, I don't know how well it translates as an adult per se. Like say you're reading it as an adult that goes back to read it. Because you know, like usually with young adult books the way the writing's set up and everything it's very like straightforward given the uh target age group but <sighs> oh that's I want... why i can't look it up i don't have my internet on my phone oh, i want to like <laughs> talk about a specific scene that p particularly hurts but i can't for not spoiling it spoiling spoiling I... okay here we'll do this i'll roll a die for you <laughs> all right <laughs> Even or odds? Evens. Okay. If it's an evens, we'll let you talk about it. I'll just talk about one specific scene. Hey, right, Not I the whole ending. Four. Okay. So the scene... This die sucks. The <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. The scene <laughs> that I remember very specifically, and that makes me sad right now, I'm sure D-Pain will remember what I'm talking about, 
is when the one dog keeps visiting the other dog. I'm trying to say it in the least spoilery way possible. <laughs> did I do it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You did. And um. Also, this book came out in 1961. I yeah, I knew it was a very old book. But like, yeah, there's a for anyone that has read it, and here's my phrasing of it, where it's uh, the dog visiting the other dog. Um, it is. Oh, oh, I, 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 do you, you want me to read the Wikipedia story summary for you? <laughs> it's probably for the best. Okay. I feel like we need an announcer voice for this. All right. So a man named Wilson Rawls rescued a red born hound under attack by neighborhood dogs. I don't. There's a reason why I went right to this voice because I found out where it is, and now this is the voice that comes. Out. <laughs> uh, he takes it home with him so that its wounds can heal. In light of this event, he has a flashback to when he was 10 years old living in the Ozark Mountains. Uh, the book is Wilson Rawls' own story with Billy Coleman as a fictional character who wants nothing more than a pair of red bone coon hounds for hunting. Um, let's see. Uh, after after seeing a magazine ad for raccoon hounds, by the way, raccoon hounds, okay, <laughs> feel like that should be clear. Uh, Billy spends the next two years working odd jobs to earn fifty dollars and used to buy two puppies. Billy's dogs are delivered to oh, I don't know how to pronounce that word, <laughs> Tahlequa, over twenty miles away. Almost said years, but it's miles. Billy decides to walk the distance because he was a kid and didn't have a car. Um, as he returns with the dogs, he sees a heart carved on a tree uh, with the names Dan plus Ann. He decides to name the puppies <gasps> Old Dan and Little Ann. Oh, uh, we're gonna make her cry yet. Um, with his grandfather's help, Billy teaches the dogs to hunt. Both dogs are very loyal to each other and to Billy. Is this the whole plot? Hold on, I'm, I'm I might be mistaken quick. then about the uh, them being show dogs. I guess they were just hunting dogs, but I thought there was yeah. a scene with them. Either case, yes. I guess hunting dogs is also a big hint as to what happened. There's a lot of hunting. So yeah, the Ozark Mountains. So it's um, it's they are in Arkansas, Missouri, and Mississippi. So it's that area. Which if I remember, in Kansas, sorry, Kansas. That's what I meant to say. Because if I remember, he goes. Like, he, he walks to another state to get them. Yeah, it did say, like, 20 miles. So, yeah. no, it's, like, it is a very good book. Uh, a book I almost put in its place was Shiloh, if anyone's familiar with that one. That's another book about a young the boy bush? and his dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think in Shiloh, it's a little beagle, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, hey, the thing I was thinking of is actually in the Wikipedia thing. So since it's in Wikipedia and anyone can read it, I'm okay talking about it. Go ahead. <laughs> it's uh, the one where he, it's like his, like, okay, so he gets these coon dogs to go hunt raccoons. And so, like, the first part, like, this is the neat thing. Like, I'm also remembering, like, um, uh, I'm forgetting the name of the book, but it was, like, the, the kid that just go like, gets lost in the woods and just, like, lives in the forest and then, like, makes... Like, was oh, in a treehouse. Uh, it's not oh. Lost in the Woods. Hatchet. Yeah. Hatchet. Is Hatchet the one where I think so? There's Hatchet, and then like, the wolf, something. I don't know. There's a <laughs> lot of go out into nature, but uh. So anyway, he goes, and it's really cool because it's like, hey, you want to catch a raccoon? This is what you do. You see this can? Put some food at the bottom and put nails down because they're greedy little turds and won't let go, <laughs> and you can catch it. <laughs> and they're like, and they're like, oh, okay. And so that's how they would first go catch raccoons. And then, so they were trying to do this again when the, the dogs went and chased a raccoon up into a tree. And it was like the biggest tree ever. <laughs> and <laughs> so the dogs were there with the, and kept the raccoon like up in the tree. And while the, while Billy ran home to get an ax and went to chop down the tree to go get the raccoon. Except, like, legitimately, it's, like, a week. <laughs> like, a week of him just Walking chopping down the his tree. tree. And it's like, yep, 
It was third day, and my blisters broke open, but the dogs were still there. <laughs> Loyals can be. Just looked at me. Yeah. And then, and it's like, and then it was day five, and my grandfather came out and said I was an idiot. Here's a scarecrow, because also, you know what are idiots? Raccoons. They'll think the scarecrow is a person, and we'll be too scared to come down so you can go to sleep. And like, <laughs> oh, thanks, granddad or dad or whoever told him. And then it's like, I, I think I remember this, because like, um, it was like in fourth, it was in fourth grade, our teacher read this book to us. And so it's just like in a wind blew and the tree fell down. And then shortly after, like a, a day or two later, like the teacher, she was reading the next chapter and all that. We had this giant wooden tree in the classroom. I don't know why, but we were all sitting there. Guess what? That tree fell down. <laughs> oh no. The line, the timing of that. But like, yeah. how do you read that out loud without like busting out into tears? Sorry. Oh, the, well, not that specific part, but the end. This is when like, I realize I don't connect emotionally to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And also my fourth grade class was majority uh, uh, female. So there was a lot of tears and a lot of confusion from me. I was like, <laughs> they're not real. Why are you crying? <laughs> Poor imaginary dogs. <laughs> but now that reading that Wikipedia article, find out that they're real dogs. Hmm.